Hello, Aries. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading with me, Sarah from Divinely You. Thank you so much for tuning in to this reading. I hope you're doing great. Um, I think Venus was moving into Aries today. So, and Venus is the planet of relationships and money. And we got all this Taurus energy, which is also earthy and money. Um, so let's get into this, shall we? Um, so for you this week, we got the queen of fire. We got the star card. And the sun card. So let's take a look at them a little closer, shall we? All right. So, um, it's time to spread your wings. It's time to get out of your own way. Um, assert your creativity, your independence. Um, you've got all the support with that star card and with that sun card, both very supportive cards for you to like step into the life that you want. Maybe you want to do something creative, but you've been sort of scared to take that leap. Um, but you've got all the supportive energy to do that. Um, and I feel like you're trying to hold yourself back. Um, maybe you're just too afraid of like that you don't have creative instincts or um, maybe, I don't know, maybe you think people won't like it. Um, and the, the fact of the matter is, is that it doesn't matter if anyone else likes it or not. If you like it and you like the creativity, right? Like there is no right or wrong way to do art per se. Um, and so like, maybe you're kind of getting in your way a little bit, but it's really like you're, you're at a place now where um, go for it, get after it, do the thing. Um, and yeah, like what's holding you back and maybe whatever's holding you back, like take that to your journal. Maybe this is a place where you need to check in with like your, uh, your, your sacral and your solar plexus chakras um, to balance, cleanse, unblock, um, because if it's create, if it's creativity, um, maybe abstain from sex or masturbation. Like sometimes when we're, when we're too much into the, the lustfulness of sex or masturbation, we actually shut off our creative, our creativity source because they're the same energy. And so, um, maybe it's time to like take a break, um, from sex or masturbation in order to tap into this creative energy, because you have all of the support, um, the queen of fire alone, like spread your wings, like trust your, trust your creativity, trust your independence. Um, and the sun card, that's just super supportive of like having what you want, doing what you want, that sort of thing. So you got a lot of supportive energy here, Aries. So um, what, what's going on? Uh, I think I have a little support for you. So hang on one second. So I got a card from the uh, Believe in Your Own Magic deck and you got the flower card um, which is an integrity card. And so like I, the question then becomes like, are you lying to yourself? Are you bullshitting yourself into the fact that you're not creative or that you're not ready or that you don't have what it takes? Like this is, this is the get out of your own way and be honest with yourself about what's holding you back. Um, you know, be honest with yourself, be in integrity with yourself. Like maybe there's something that you want to be doing, but you're like, no, or like, I can't, or, um, you know, any other thoughts we have, like, or maybe you're just like, I don't know, maybe you're just not being real with yourself as far as what you want to actually create and present to the world. Um, because for whatever reason, right. Maybe you're afraid of, like I said, what people will think and, you know, judgments and all that, you are always going to have judgments in the world. Right. But if you're judging yourself, that's a whole nother, um, you know, self-acceptance type of energy, uh, to work with back to that solar plexus and sacral chakras, right? Like unblocking those or, or balancing them out, um, and really tapping in because there's something you're hiding from yourself 
that's keeping you from, you know, doing all of the, the creative things suggested in these cards. So, um, so just some places to look for you. Um, yeah, I would say, you know, take some time for journaling, take some time to work on work through some chakra balancing or chakra healing, um, to really tap in because there's something that you're hiding from yourself and, um, yeah, stop lying to yourself, Aries, get out of your own head. You got something to share with the world. You got something to share with yourself. So, uh, let's see it. All right, Aries. I'll talk to y'all next time. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you and, um, take care.